Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Lamley Awards 2019 showcase. We have gone from blue to orange. We are talking Matchbox today. I have all of the brand or all of the 2019 licensed new models from Matchbox, and we are going to vote on not only the what you think is the best of these new models, but also what is the most disappointing. We did that with Hot Wheels. Now it's time to vote on Matchbox. We're going to walk through these today. We're not done with Matchbox either because this showcase is just for the basic new models, licensed new models. I've also got opening parts new models, and that's been the crazy year that it's been for Matchbox. Not only, I think, 20-something new castings, licensed new castings, which was unheard of just a few years ago. It was mostly unlicensed. But we also had a whole new grouping of opening parts new models in 2019. It has been a massive, fantastic year for Matchbox. Such a wide variety of stuff released. And it is time that we vote, select our best, and then most disappointing. Remember, most disappointing, I do that instead of worst, because I want you don't want you to just talk about the car that you just dislike the most in real life or that you're bored with. Talk about the model that you were most excited about, and it just didn't live up to the expectation you had for it. So figure what that one out is and, and vote down below. It's in the video description. There are two polls that you want to vote on. Best, of course, and then most disappointing. Make sure you do both and make sure you share it with your friends so they can do the same. And then we'll unveil all of that uh, here in a little bit. Okay, let's walk through them. This is roughly in order of release. I'm trying to show every color. We'll walk through them and I'll try to also refrain from offering my opinion on these because we're just going to walk through them real quickly. Um, and uh, like I said, basic new models from the basic range. We start with this one. It is the BMW 2002. It was released in two colors. Um, if I'll try and get descripti descriptive. I mean, I like all these models, but uh, again, trying not to offer opinions, but uh, I do like it. See? See what happens? I start doing it. First one color was in orange. Then we had the second color later on in the year. It was a super fast um, 50th anniversary uh, edition with some front deco and then the hood stripes. Now remember, you're not necessarily voting on the actual release and the actual color. You're voting on the casting. You want to pick the casting that you like the best. So don't necessarily, um, I can't obviously stop you from, but don't necessarily just vote on the um, on the looks of this actual casting. Next one is the Dodge Ram, or I think it's just Ram. Yeah, Ram flatbed, 2016 Ram flatbed. Metal cab, and then it has the uh, plastic flatbed, which actually, I believe, is part of the base. I don't know if it has even any interior on it as well. It's hard to tell um, on this one because the windows are so dark. All right, next one. International Ambulance. I don't think it has any other name. Yeah, just the International Ambulance. This one has a metal base and a plastic body. So, so they used to do it where it would be like a metal cab and a plastic box, but now it's just fully plastic. This one at least is fully plastic. I don't think there's only, there's not too many that were all plastic. There's two castings this year that went all plastic that were licensed new models. This one is one of them, the International Ambulance. Next one, and I'm going to start with this color, but um, this is the Porsche 911 Rally. Is there a year on this one? Yeah, 1985 Porsche 911 Rally. This is the Toy Fair version in this burnt orange. Um, if you want to consider this one, remember, we're just talking about the casting. This one was not available to the uh, general public. It was kind of hard to get, but I uh, still wanted to show each color released, or at least, you know, most of them. Um, but that one was the Toy Fair version. Next version, the actual basic version, is this one in white and blue. Kind of had, it was kind of an homage uh, deco, not necessarily licensed but rally style deco on this one in blue and white has the uh, roof rack on the top, which is, is kind of cool. So that's the Porsche 911 rally moving to the back here, Nissan shuttle van or Nissan NV van. I'll get some of these names wrong. Of course, ultra matchbox shuttle MBX shuttle is the, um, is the deco on this one. One thing you can't uh, totally count on with Matchbox or with Hot Wheels for that for that matter anyway is uh, scale. Obviously, the Rally Porsche is not going to be bigger than the van, but they're about the same size. Next one, this is the uh, 65 Land Rover Gen 2, Generation 2 Safari. 
This one, a couple of things about it. It, uh, I don't know if it has an interior or not, but those windows are super dark. I don't think it does because it has this removable part on top, this removable luggage rack. It actually came in two different racks. I just have the one here. Um, so you could find it with two different racks and this is interchangeable. I think there's a Chevy wagon that has a removable top as well. Maybe the trailer as well. So you can actually take each piece and replace them, um, on the, on the model. So this is the other thing about this one is it's an homage to a classic matchbox casting Land Rover. So this one was released in blue. I brought out one from the, uh, this is the uh, special release from the uh, Leipzig Germany show that happened in October. And I am yet to showcase these. I need to showcase all four colors because there are four colors of this one that were done in this safari styling. I think there was green and white and there was maybe silver, if I remember correctly, and then a really rare one in blue, only 25 made. But I've got all four that I want to showcase. But this one has real rider tires on it. And as uh, you can see, has the canoe on it as well, which uh, came from the Chevy truck. Like I said, you can interchange all of them. All right, that is the Land Rover. Now moving on to this one. This is the 1935 Ford. Kind of a rat rod style pickup. Abe Lugo really likes these. This one I think was real popular when it was first released. In green, next one, Mustang Convertible. 2018 Ford Mustang Convertible in yellow. Front and rear trim on this one. We have a new Mustang casting for 2020, actually, um, which is a hard top for the Mustang series. I'll do that, and that's part of the Mustang showcase that I did. But that is the Mustang Convertible. Next, going running through some current cars, is the 2018 Dodge Charger in green. Front grille is part of the interior, which makes a nice break there. It has front trim and back trim, um, or uh, deco. Really, really nice with the, oops, no opinion, but it does have the black five-spoke wheels. All right, this one got quite the uh, rise from collectors. Many of you were really into this one. It is the 75 Chevy Caprice. I've already seen several customs of this one. Sits a little lower than maybe the standard Caprice, but uh, I think that's how a lot of collectors wanted it. And I think it has like the low rider um, toggles inside too, doesn't it? If I remember correctly. So that is the Chevy Caprice, which uh, I know uh, a lot of you were very excited about. All right, moving to the back. I have to say, I forgot that this one is an error that I pulled from, I think this is when I did the showcase. This is the... Um, 2010 Ford F-150 animal control truck. Um, so this one has a black rim in the front. I forgot about that. That's the only one I could find to showcase. So don't pay attention to that black rim, that error, but that's the one I've got. Black or a plastic box and plastic cab. That's the other one besides the ambulance that is uh, all plastic, but it does have the metal base. So it has a decent weight to it. All right, next one. This is the uh, 2018 Jeep JL four-door in green Rubicon deco here on the side. They, you know what? I don't, I should have brought this one out and I said I was going to bring the colors and I totally forgot. There's the Jeep series and I don't have it with me and I'm remembering right now. Uh, Skyjacker, it had a Skyjacker deco and I don't think I've got it with me. Um, I think I might have sent it to a friend. So we'll run with that green one. Remember, there's a Skyjacker one as well. Some of you may have it. All right. Next one. Go on police. There's always going to be a police car or two in the range. New one introduced. This is this 59 Dodge Coronet Police. Unlicensed deck. It just says police chief on it. But, uh, you know, the classic black and white with the side trim. Front trim as well. And chrome base. So this one, this one really got... Uh, the VIP treatment, if you will. A lot of big police car fans out there. I'd imagine that uh, was pleasing for them. Going to Concepts. This is the Nissan Titan Warrior, 2016 Nissan Titan Warrior concept. This one got a ton of trim. Uh, back, front, and then the roof as well. I'm wondering if Nissan required that to be done. So this one has a lot of like color breaks and everything else. It looks uh, it looks cool that way. 
which I offered my opinion again, but uh, that is the Titan Warrior concept. All right, another one that uh, got a lot of attention this year. It is the Mercedes-Benz Wagon, 1980 Mercedes-Benz W123 Wagon, in kind of a light olive color. Front and rear trim. We saw this one uh, released at the Gathering. It was a Gathering exclusive as well. Um, I'll just show this one. This is the one in blue. had kind of a racing deco on it in this, uh, I guess you could call it Spectre Flame Blue, uh, touring style uh, deco on this one, which is just fantastic. I'm coming on the deco. It's not my opinion. But uh, that's the casting. I know the collectors really like that one. Subaru Sambar in blue. Six spoke wheels on it, Subaru on the front, no deco on the front or on the side Subaru, but nothing on the front, but it did get some deco on the back. Um, I do like, and I'm not trying to offer my opinion, but they were able to really kind of put this one as close to like, at least make it smaller than your standard matchbox casting. They can't necessarily put it to scale, but they made it small, which, uh, which really kind of, you know, compared to the other castings really shows how small that the uh, Subaru Sambar is. All right, Mini Countryman, 2011 Mini Countryman. They've done uh, the Mini Cooper and the Convertible Mini. Now we've got the Classic Mini. Now we have the Countryman, which was introduced in green. Then here's the biggest casting easily of the year. It is the 1968 Dodge D200 pickup. Lifted, long and tall. I have a feeling a lot of you are really into this one. Just got the side deco on it. Nothing on the front, nothing on the back, but the Dodge is embossed into the uh, back tail there. So um, so it really has kind of a nice, complete look to it. The big, big Dodge truck. All right, this one was a very unique release this year. It is the uh, Polaris Slingshot. If you're ever riding through national parks or something, you're going to see a few of these zipping around. Really interesting how they did this. It actually has a little bit of weight to it. Metal with a plastic interior and a plastic base, but how they've done it is really creative. And so, and then of course it has the single wheel on the back. So really cool um, choice to do and very Matchbox-esque to do that one. And I, I think they did a nice job. Next one, 2016 Ford Interceptor Utility. Uh, we've had a Ford Interceptor before, Explorer, of course, in style. And this one is definitely a little cleaner than the last one. The other one was a little bit modified too much. It was back when Matchbox was doing kind of its over-the-top kind of looks for some of these castings. So this one is a is a most welcome uh, update, in a sense. This one is a much cleaner casting uh, for the Ford Interceptor. And it starts as a, in a Fire Chief livery. All right. This one got a lot of attention. It was the uh, special custom model that uh, winning customizers did for JCCS this year when Matchbox did its custom contest. This is the Subaru SVX. No year on that one. I think Rio Asado had his hand, who uh, designs for Hot Wheels, but used to design for Matchbox. I think he had his hand in this design. Um, in pearl white, five spoke wheels. Has some side trim just for the tail, or for the side lights, and then it has the full rear deco. I think they decided because the taillights do wrap around so much by giving it two side tampo passes and then one rear tampo pass, it gives it a more complete look than doing the uh, headlights up front. And I actually agree with that choice. If you can't do the full four-sided deal, they did, you did it right by doing the rear. And that uh, that was really done well. So it's And it's got a kind of a plastic roof and window, so it allows for that uh, color break there from white to black. And finally, while this wasn't in the basic range, it did debut in the uh, Jeep series. Um, this is the Jeep 19, what is this, 48 Willys Jeepster. I put this in with the with the basic cars because it doesn't have any opening doors or anything. So I figured this one, and I'm sure we'll see it in the basic range in the future. Chrome base, classic Jeep, and you Jeep trans, I'm assuming, are going to be way into this front and rear trim on it too. So there you go. Tried to walk through it as quickly as I can. Got it done in about 15 minutes. You've got several to choose from. Which one do you think was the best? 
Which one do you think was the most disappointing? This is going to be competitive. There are a lot of uh, favorites here, and a lot that I could see totally winning, but it's going to be interesting to watch how it plays out. So make sure you vote in the link down below. Thanks, everybody. More Lamley Awards to come, so be prepared. They're going to come real soon. you got more things to vote on. More polls are going to open up. Thanks, everybody. Bye.